Alright, I have just rooted my Droid 4 XT894 with Safe Root, and I installed Safe Strap 3.72. Uh, you can see that the phone isn't currently in Safe Strap. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reboot it quick. Um, we'll just um, select the reboot system uh, just to show you what uh, the options are. Just a second, you should see a uh, safe strap icon, and then we got menu for recovery and search for continue. Uh, select the left one and we'll reboot to recovery. Uh, safe strap. Okay, we have safe strap 3.72, um, which is using twerp version 7.7 .7, um, has the time and uh, has a shows how much battery is is um, available. Um, don't always trust the battery um, shown on uh, in safe strap, but um, it's it's pretty close. Um, let's see if we can get my camera to show us here. We and our options are we have boot options, and we have install, we have backup, restore, mount, wipe, advanced. And reboot, um, and we have a. You can change the screen time out if you want. Um, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, uh, Twerp has a nice feature. You can mount your SD card and uh, internal card. Um, um, from inside the recovery, um, you just check um, what you want. Um, you don't want to really pick web top system cache or data they're not going to mount uh, correctly in most cases um, but you have a uh, SD card and the internal storage should both mount okay um, you just click mount storage um, and if your drivers are installed correctly on the PC um, you can see our folders and if if you didn't already have your uh, ROM and uh, Google Apps um, zip on your SD card. You can just drag and drop them there. Um, I'm going to be installing uh, Slim Android version 444, um, Slim version 6.3, um, built 2014, July 10th, um, and I was going to be using um, Slim. Google Apps version. Um, oh no, I wasn't. Uh, I was just going to use the uh, Paranoid Android Gaps, I think. And I don't seem to have either one of those on my card, so I'm going to pause and uh, find those. And this is a good example of why the uh, mount uh, SD storage is uh, a nice little feature on uh, in twerp um, once you uh, you've downloaded these uh, the, the your uh, ROM and your uh, Google Apps um, you want to verify that the MD5 um, checksum is correct um, that'll show you that the um, file downloaded correctly. Um, the checksum is, is uh, usually posted on the um, download page. Um, it's just a uh, string of numbers and uh, letters. Uh, and you uh, find your ROM and um, it just verifies that um, that is, is the correct size and um, all the bits and bytes were downloaded correctly and uh, it says close match that means the file is correct um, go ahead and close the SD card you can turn your screen back on just tap it and then you can swipe to unlock you want to unmount and go back to your home page and now we have a couple options you have the option of installing over the stock ROM um, 
right there. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Stock ROM is always on the on the right, and then you have four ROM slots. And uh, I believe it'll um, this ROM will only stop uh, install in slot one, two, or stock ROM. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a lot of um, apps with uh, lots of data, um, you're probably gonna want to install it on a on a custom uh, ROM slot. Uh, stock ROM may not be big enough for what you need. Um, so if you click on ROM slot 1, it already has some numbers pre-selected. Um, um, it has a partition size of 700 megabytes, um, data partition uh, 2,000 megabytes, and the cache as 300 megabytes. Uh, cache is probably good, um, and the d data partition, and for most people, aren't going to need 2,000. Uh, it depends on how long the longer you have used the ROM, um, it's going to take um, more space as it the as you build up things. Um, you don't have the options um, on the stock ROM uh, to change these. I don't know if it'll say what the, it does. System partition is um is only. 632 megabytes um, data partition uh, 3078 megabytes and uh, cache partition is, is uh, 1007 megabytes which is quite a bit larger than you probably need um, so you just want to keep that in mind when um, installing a ROM um, So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it um, the size it is. Now, these uh, any ROM slot you create um, is going to take space on your um, take that much space up on your internal um, SD card. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind too. You don't want to make this slot any bigger than it needs to be because you're going to have less space um, on your uh, internal SD card. Um, also, it does say on the on here, uh, selected space as it is on the defaults is uh, is uh, three gigabytes, three three thousand megabytes. Um, and currently, I have eighty one ninety uh, eight thousand one hundred ninety megabytes um, available space. So I have plenty of space on there now. Um, but uh, Depends on what kind of files you want to save, and, and if you have an SD card and how big it is, um, you just want to keep that in mind. So we're going to create the ROM slot. It's going to take a couple minutes, I believe. Um, it does have a status bar there. to pause the video for a moment, let that finish. Alright, um, if you uh, back the camera uh, time up a little bit, you probably see it took, I don't know, three minutes or so, maybe a little more to finish the ROM slot. Um, and uh, if you see on the uh, see here, if you could read that, it still says that uh, ROM slot, uh, or it, it changed to ROM slot 1. Um, so, you just want to make sure that uh, the ROM slot you want is highlighted at the top of the screen there, or uh, listed in the top of the screen. Um, um, so now we can go ahead and click install, um, and then we need to go Select, uh, I believe, our external. Uh, is where I put the uh, files. So today I am installing Slim Maserati 4.4.4, and uh, we also need to install Google Apps Gaps. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select um, the. Uh, 
uh, add more zips and um, I was going to use the PA gaps I believe they uh, they will work could be wrong you really should use the ones that I recommended but I didn't download those alright and then um, has an option to uh, swipe to confirm flash um, so we're going to go ahead and swipe um, from left to right um, and this is going to take a few minutes to install all these files so we're going to pause the video and it's uh, alright uh, it took a minute or two to install the ROM and now our PA gaps are, are being installed um, and uh, it's removing the um, the version I have here is, is a, I believe the full um, Google Apps uh, I don't want to let that close so it's um, removing some of these the stock uh, the apps from the um, the ROM itself and uh, putting stock Google Apps in place of them fixing permission permissions installation complete now we have three options here um, we have home take the home of the uh, safe strap um, wipe cache and delvic and reboot system and I always recommend um, go ahead and selecting wipe cache and delvic um, we need to swipe co to confirm um, it just more likely that the um, ROM will boot uh, cleaner that way. Um, and then we're going to select back and reboot system. And it usually takes longer for the first um, time the, the ROM boots to, uh, to, to, to boot completely. Um, we got the safe strap thing. We can go ahead and select search to continue to uh, continue the process. Otherwise, it'll it'll continue on its own after uh, so many seconds. And we should be seeing the slim icon here pretty soon. logo for Slim Cat. Probably take another minute or so to boot. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Alright, it's been a couple minutes and I, I'm pretty sure it's about ready to boot. It uh, flashed a little bit different, uh, like it uh, might be just about complete. Um, that one, one of the very nice features about safe strap is you have those four ROM slots and stock so if you mess up one of your there we go we got probably doesn't probably didn't like those gaps I used um, but we got it booted um, we got an option for uh, language select uh, English um, and it's going to want to open Wi-Fi, we're going to skip that um, skip anyways um, and we've got an option you want to sign into Google um, we'll do that later uh, and, uh, just asking for location if you want to install your have an option to put your name in 